Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful summer long vest. This pattern is fairly easy to make and I have free written pattern for size extra small go up to double XL. It's available on my blog but if you prefer the PDF pinnable version it's available on my Etsy and my Ravelry store and I will put all the link in the description below. For this tutorial, I show you in size small and also I'm 5 foot tall <laughs> just in case if you want to know. Okay, yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, you will need fingering weight yarn, super fine, number one. For me, I use this brand. I love it. <laughs> this is Loops and Threads brand. Okay, we like. And see here, super fine number one yarn. In each skein, it has 678 yards or 620 meter per each skein. Okay, and here is the color beige. And number six. And for size that I'm making, which is size small, I used about almost one and a half skeins. So this is about 1,000 yards that I use for size small. Okay. If you use different brand, it might turn out a little different. And make sure to make the gauge swatch first. Okay. And crochet hook size 6 millimeters scissors your needle and stitch markers before we start I just want to talk about how the pattern work a little bit so for this project we're gonna make three separate pieces and then sew them together so we have the back panel here and then two front panels and then these two front panels are made the same okay and for this tutorial I'll show you inside small so for the size small I have 20.88 inches width from here to here okay across not around okay and then the length I have 38 point 28 inches length which is gonna be the row that we make okay the row we make gonna be the length and also you can make it shorter or longer totally up to you and very easy to adjust the size as well I will tell you exactly how you can do that okay we're gonna make the back panel first and the chain that we make gonna be the width of the project Okay, so I make the chain and then crochet back and forth, back and forth until I have my desired length and I cut the yarn. Don't need to leave a long tail for the back panel. Okay, and after that, we come back to the front panel. We're going to make the chain and then we're going to crochet back and forth until uh, we have our desired length. And the back and the front panel is the same uh, length. Okay, it's the same uh, amount of rows. Alright, and then at the end for the front panels, we're gonna leave a long tail enough to sew the front panels into the back panel. Okay, so both front panels are made the same and leave a long tail exactly the same. Okay, so I also leave a space here for the neck hole area as well for the neck um, line. Okay. And I'll tell you exactly how how many stitches I make. Don't worry. Okay, after we have three separate pieces, and then we're gonna sew the shoulder, which is sew the back and the front panel together. And we're gonna use the tails that we left earlier for the front panels for sewing. Okay, after you sew that, you're gonna fold it in half like this. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna sew on the wrong side. Okay, we already sewed the um, 
shoulder here with the wrong side and then we fold it in half with the right side facing each other so we can sew on the wrong side on the side seam and then yeah after that fold it in half we're gonna cut a new strand of yarn enough to sew the side seam that's it and then we're gonna leave the space open for the armhole that's it very easy pattern okay and then we're done we've all the ends and we're done <laughs> and let's talk about the pattern stitch here so i have my gauge swatch here so i make the gauge swatch and i already block it so i put in the warm water about 20 minutes and then after that i let it dry on the floor and then i measure the gauge after that okay so for this pattern is multiple of four stitches so if you don't know what is multiple of four you're gonna make four chains, four chain, four chain, four chain, four chains until you have your desired width, okay? And after that, you're just gonna crochet the pattern. I will tell you exactly. That's how the multiple of four, okay? And this is two row repeat, which is row two and row three. See? And after that, we repeat row two and row three. Repeat row two and row three row two and row three if you want longer you repeat row two and row three more but if you want shorter you repeat row two and row three less okay and i show you what is my gauge here so see here 18 stitches equal four inches so in here space here is have two chains in there so that two chain is count as two stitches okay so here i have one double crochet two double crochet and two chain here so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen see there i have 18 stitches and then for the row okay okay for the row here i have seven rows equal four inches so here is one row two three four five six seven see seven rows equal four inches all right See, I have um, 18 stitches and 7 rows equal 4 inches. Whatever the yarn that you use, if uh, you use different brand, make sure to make the gauge swatch first. Okay, but if you want to use a uh, different size of yarn or different size of hook and I also have video tutorial for how you can adjust the sizes, the crochet sizes as well, if you use a different uh, yarn and hook, okay? Okay, so this is how the pattern work, and I hope all that makes sense, and let's get started. Okay, to start, I'm gonna make the uh, slip knot, and I'm gonna make the back panel first, okay? And like I said, this pattern is multiple of four. So for my back panel, I'm gonna make 96 chains. That is multiple of four, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna keep making the chain until I have 96 chain. And I will be back and make sure don't make your chain too tight. Okay, now I have 96 chains, pretty long. Okay, and for row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. And for an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. Row one is the right side. Okay, so I just show you here is the stitch pattern. I just wanna put it right here for now. Okay, all right, after I have 
96 chain, I'm gonna skip three chains and make one double crochet into the next chain, which is the fourth chain from the hook. And the first three chain that we're gonna skip is count as one double crochet. Okay, so here I skip one, skip two, and skip three, and then make one double crochet into the next chain. So I yarn over my hook, I skip three, insert the hook into the next chain, and make a double crochet. I just insert my hook into the normal chain stitch. I don't go into the back loop this time. I mean back bump. <laughs> Okay, after I insert my hook, pull up a loop, I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so see here, the first three chain here count as one double crochet. And now I have one double crochet and two double crochet. Alright, and then next, I'm going to chain two. One and two. And skip two chains. One and two. And then into next chain, we're gonna make one double crochet. So I yarn over my hook, skip two chain here, insert the hook into the next chain, and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next chain, yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, put through two loops, yarn over, put through two loops, like that. And we're gonna repeat that pattern. So, see here? We're right here right now. Okay? So, next, I repeat that, which is chain two, one and two, and skip two chains, one and two, and make one double crochet into the next two chains. Okay? So, I yarn over, skip two chains, insert the hook into the next chain, and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next chain. Oops. Like that. And repeat that. Chain two. Skip two chain, one and two, and make one double crochet into each of next two chain. So yarn over, skip two, insert the hook into the next, and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next. See, very easy pattern. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Next, I'm gonna chain two. One and two. Skip two chains. One and two. And make one double crochet into each of next two chain. So I yarn over, I skip two here, insert the hook into the next. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next. Like that. Okay. So yeah, see here. Here's what this look like so far. Okay. So next, you're just gonna repeat the same pattern. You're gonna chain two, skip two chain, and one double crochet into each of next two chain. Chain two, skip two chain one double crochet into the next two chain. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep repeating this until I reach the end of row one. And at the end, I should end up with uh, two double crochet into the last two chains. All right, like right here, like that. Okay, I will be back when I reach the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one here and here is what it look like okay and I have total of 24 groups of the double crochet so one group of the double crochet is this one so two double crochet here is count as one group okay so when you count you count like this this one group two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
1920, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, for me, I have 24 groups of the double crochet. Again, this is for size small. Every size is, is different. I tell you exactly how many groups you should have in each side. Okay, on my blog, the written pattern. Okay, so for row two, I'm gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. The first three chain count as one double crochet, and the fourth chain here count as one chain space. Okay, and turn, and then into the next two chain space here, you're gonna make two double crochet in there. So a yarn over, insert the hook in two chain space, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet, and then make one more double crochet into the same space. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same space, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Here's what this look like. And then chain two, one and two. And into the next two chain space, you're gonna make two double crochet in there. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next two chain space and make a double crochet. One more. Like that. And you're just gonna repeat that pattern. You're gonna chain two, oops, <laughs> okay. And into the next two chain space, you're gonna make two double crochet in there. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next two chain space and make a double crochet. One more, like that. See, show you one more time. Chain two, and then into the next two chain space, you're gonna make two double crochet in there. See, it's the same pattern. that. All right, so next you're gonna chain two and make two double crochet into the next two chain space, chain two and two double crochet into the next two chain space. Repeat that until you reach the last two chain space here and then I will meet you guys back in, we're gonna make the last double crochet together. Okay, I will meet you guys back in when you reach the last two chain space. Okay, I'm at the end of row two here, but I haven't made the last double crochet yet. I just want to show you. So after I make two double crochet into the last two chain space, here is what it look like. And next, I'm gonna chain one. I chain one and then make one double crochet into the last stitch, which is the third chain, right here. If you don't see, you can turn this way as well, and you can count the chain. Remember, we skipped three chains on row one. So into that third chain, we're gonna make the last double crochet, okay? So here is the first chain, second chain, and here is the third chain. Right into that third chain, we're gonna make the last double crochet. Okay, so I chain one here already. And next, I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the third chain, right here. That is gonna be the last stitch, okay? Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet, like that. Okay, so remember when we start row two, we chain four. And the first three chain we count as one double crochet, and the fourth chain we count as one chain space, right? Here we end the same. We have one chain here, and we have a double crochet there, all right? And yeah, the end of row two, I have a total of 23 double crochet groups, and two double crochet stitches, one stitch on each side for the double crochet. So one here and one here for the double crochet and then 23 double crochet groups. 
Again, one group, you have two double crochet in there. It's like, like this. This one group, two, three, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, for row three, I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. The first three chains always count as one double crochet. And you always gonna make the last stitch into the third chain. Okay? After I chain three, I turn. And then into that one chain space, I gonna make one double crochet in there. So yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the one chain space, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. So far, row three, I have two double crochet. See? And then next, I'm going to chain two. One and two. And make two double crochet into the next two chain space. It's the same pattern. So, yarn over, insert the hook into the next two chain space and make a double crochet. And then make one more into the same space. Just repeat that. Chain two and make two double crochet into the next two chain space. Like that. Chain two and make two double crochet into the next two chain space. See? It's the same pattern. Like that. Okay? Here's what this looks like so far. So far, I have four groups of the double crochet. So here's one group, two, three, and four. All right. Okay, you're gonna repeat that. Next, you're gonna make two chains and make two double crochet into the next two chain space. Make two chain and two double crochet into the next two chain space. Repeat that until the end. Okay, and then I will miss you guys back in when I have the last one chain space left. And I'm going to make that, uh, the last two double crochet with you into that last space. Okay? I will be back. Now I'm at the end of row three. Like I said, I'm going to make uh, the last two double crochet with you. Okay? So after I make uh, two double crochet into the last two chain space here and here is what it look like and then into the next space which is the one chain space there I'm gonna make one double crochet in there but I chain two first okay so I chain two and make one double crochet into one chain space here and then for the last double crochet I'm gonna make into the third chain to make it straight okay so here is the first chain second chain and the third chain so I yarn over my hook insert the hook into the third chain there pull up a loop and make the last double crochet like that and the end of row three I have a total of 24 groups of the double crochet. Here's what this look like. See, the reason I make the last double crochet into the third chain because I want to lock the panel keep going straight. As you can see here. Like that. Okay. <laughs> And like I said, this pattern is two row repeat, which is row two and row three. Okay, so next you're just going to repeat row two and row three, row two and row three over and over. All right, so this west is fairly long. So for me, i going to repeat row two and row three 32 more times. And I will have a total of... 67 rows start count from row one here okay i will have 67 rows and if you want a shorter waist you make less row make less repeat but make sure you will stop at an odd number row which is the right side okay and 
Yeah, and if you want longer than this, you keep repeating row 2 and 3, 2 and 3. And again, make sure to end up at row, the odd number row. Okay? See here? I have three row now. And row 4, I gonna repeat row 2. Row 5, I repeat row 3. Row 6, repeat row 2. Row 7, repeat row 3. Like that. Okay? It's very easy. And make sure to count your stitches. And if you forget how to make like row 2, how to make row 3, you always can rewind the video and go watch it again. Okay? I'm gonna show you a couple more stitches. So for row 4, again, we repeat row 2. Remember when we make row 2, we chain 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And the first three chains always count as one double crochet. And the fourth chain count as one chain space and turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And then we're gonna make two double crochet into the next two chain space. One, two, and then you're gonna chain two, one and two. And make two double crochet into the next two chain space. Like that. Repeat that, chain two, two double crochet into the next two chain space. Like that. It's the same pattern. Okay? And keep repeating that and yeah. Like I said, if you need to rewind the video and go watch it again, feel free to do that. Because I don't want to make this video too long. I try to make just one part. <laughs> okay, and also I think it's very easy pattern as well. So, And like I said, I'm going to repeat row 2 and row 3 until I have 67 rows. And I will be back when I reach the end of row 67. Good luck and take your time. Okay, after I repeat row 2 and row 3, and now I have total of 67 rows. Here is the end of row 67. Okay? And I already cut my yarn here. For the back panel, you don't need to leave a long tail, okay? I just leave a little bit tail to weaving the end later. So after I cut the yarn at the end of row 67 here, and then I'm just gonna pull the yarn out. And we done for the back panel. It's fairly easy, but it's very long. <laughs> very long. Yeah. Okay. And next, we're gonna make the front panels. Okay, for the front panel, it's the same pattern as the back panel, but we're just gonna make less chain. Okay? But I'm gonna show you anyway. So, first, we're gonna make a slip knot. And then for me, for size small, I'm going to make 40 chains. Like I said, this pattern is multiple of 4. So 40 chains is multiple of 4. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I will keep making the chain and I will be back when I have 40 chains. Make sure to make your chain loosely. Now I have 40 chains. And again, row one, gonna be the right side because it's an odd number row and an even number row gonna be the wrong side. Everything the same as the back panel. It's the same pattern, but just make less chain, that's it. Okay? So yeah, after I have 40 chains, I gonna skip three chain. And into the next chain, I gonna make one double crochet. And the first three chain that we're gonna skip is count as one double crochet. So here is skip one, skip two, skip three. And then into the next chain, which is the fourth chain from the hook, we're gonna make one double crochet. So I yarn over my hook, I skip three chain here, and then insert my hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Like that. And now I have two double crochet. And then we're gonna chain two. One and two. And skip two chains. One and two. And make one double crochet into the 
each of next two chain. So I yarn over my hook, I skip two chain, insert the hook into the next chain, and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next chain. Okay, and repeat that, chain two, skip two chain, one and two, and make one double crochet into each of next two chain. Yarn over, I skip two, and then make double crochet into the next, and then double crochet into the next. Like that. It's the same pattern as the back panel. Like that, okay? So, you're gonna repeat that. You're gonna chain two, skip two chain, one double crochet into each of next two chain, chain two, skip two chain, one double crochet into each of next two chain. Repeat that until the end. And I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one here and I have 10 groups of the double crochet. Okay, again, this is for size small. So two double crochet here is count as one group. I already tell you in the back panel, but I just wanna show you again. So here's one group, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, 10 groups, okay? And then for row two, we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. The first three chains always count as one double crochet. And here is the fourth chain count as one chain space. And then turn, or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then into next two chain space here, we're gonna make two double crochet in there. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next two chain space, to upper loop and make a double crochet. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same space, pull up a loop and make a double crochet. Okay, and then chain two, one and two. And make two double crochet into next uh, two chain space here. One more. And just repeat that, chain two, two double crochet into the next two chain space. Repeat the same pattern. Okay, it's really easy. All right, so you're gonna keep repeating this pattern. Next, you're gonna chain two, and two double crochet into the next two chain space. Chain two, two double crochet into the next two chain space. Repeat that until you reach the last two chain space here. And then we gonna make the last double crochet together, okay? I will meet you guys back in when I reach the last two chain space, right here. I'm at the end of row two here, and I haven't made the last double crochet yet. Like I said, we gonna do that together. And after I make two double crochet into the last two chain space, here is what it look like, okay? And then next, I gonna chain one. And then make one double crochet into the last stitch, which is the third chain. So yeah, after the chain one, I yarn over my hook, I insert the hook into the third chain, right here. Okay, if you don't see where is the third chain, you also can turn as well and you count the chain. So here is my third chain. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the third chain there. Right there. Pull up a loop and make the last double crochet. All right. And the end of row two, I have a total of nine groove of the double crochet. And then I have two double crochet, one in each side for the double crochet, okay? So, for row three, we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. The first three chains always count as one double crochet. And you always gonna make the last stitch into the third chain, okay? After I chain three, I turn, or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then into this one chain space, we're gonna make one double crochet. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into this one chain space, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. So far row three, I have two double crochet. And then I chain two, and then make two double crochet into the next two chain space. One, 
and two and repeat that we chain two and make two double crochet into the next two chain space one and two like that all right you're gonna keep repeating this pattern so next you're gonna chain two make two double crochet into the next two chain space chain two two double crochet into the next two chain space repeat that until you reach the end and then when you reach the last one chain space here i will meet you guys back in i will make the last two double crochet with you okay i will be back okay now i'm at the end of row three but i haven't made the last two double crochet yet like i said i wanna make with you <laughs> so yeah after i make two double crochet in the last two chain space here and next i need to chain two one and two and then into this one chain space i gonna make one double crochet in there so you want to work insert the hook into the last one chain space pull up a loop and make a double crochet and then for the last double crochet i gonna make into the third chain I'm going to yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the third chain right here. So here is my first chain, my second chain, and my third chain. So I yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain there. Pull up a loop and make the last double crochet like that. And the end of row 3, I have a total of 10 groups of the double crochet. Alright. And... Yeah, this is two row repeat, row two and row three. I'm going to repeat row two and row three 32 more times. And I will have a total of 67 rows. Start count from row one here. All right. Again, if you want longer, feel free to make more rows. Repeat row two and three. If you want shorter, make less row and repeat row two and three. Okay. And now, whatever the amount of rows that you make for the back panel, you want the front panels to have the same amount of rows, okay? For example, my back panel, I have 67 rows. I want my front panels have 67 rows. I want it even, okay? I'm going to show you a couple more stitches. So, row 4, I'm going to repeat row 2. Row 5, repeat row 3. Row 6, repeat row 2. Row 7, repeat row 3. Like that. 2 and 3, 2 and 3, 2 and 3. Over and over. Alright. So, row 4, I repeat row 3. So, I need to chain 4 because row 2, I chain 4. Right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. The first 3 chains always count as 1 double crochet. And the fourth chain counts as 1 chain space. And then I turn. And into the next two chain space here, I'm going to make two double crochet in there. One and two. And then chain two. One, two. And then into the next two chain space, I'm going to make two double crochet in there. One and two. See? It's the same pattern. So next, I chain two. And make two double crochet into the next two chain space. One and two. Like that. See, it's the same pattern, guys. It's fairly easy pattern. All right. <laughs> if you cannot remember, like, um, what can you do for repeating row two or repeating row three, you also can rewind the video and go watch it again. Okay, no big deal. Like I said, I don't want to make this video too long, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure you get it because it's just two row repeat, very really easy pattern. And yeah, take your time and count your stitches. And I'm going to keep repeating row two and three until I have 67 row. I will be back. Good luck. Okay, after I repeat row two and row three until I have 67 rows. And here is the end of row 67 okay and then after that you need to cut the yarn and leave a long tail so i already cut the yarn here and i leave about 
18 inches long, something like that. Enough to sew this shoulder at the front panel into the back panel, just this. Okay, so eight, about 18 inches for me, all right? After I cut the yarn, I'm gonna pull the yarn out like that. All right, and yeah, that's it for the front panel. It's very easy. And then you need two of this exactly the same and leave a long tail exactly the same, okay? And I already have two panels here for my front panels. See here, it's pretty long. And here is my long tail, see? So I have two panels for my front and then I already have my back panel, so I already have three panels. And next, we're gonna sew the front panels into the back panel. All right, use the long tails that we left earlier. Let me show you here, it's pretty long. <laughs> See, very long. Okay, it's the same here, very long. All right, so yeah, let's move on and go to the sewing part. <laughs> Okay, next, we're gonna sew the back into the front panels at the shoulder here, all right? To do that, make sure to place your right side facing down and the wrong side facing up for all the panels. We're gonna sew on the wrong side, okay? So right now, all my panels is the wrong side facing up. Okay, so I already marked where I'm gonna sew here and I show you how I do that. Okay, so my front panel here. Remember I have 10 group of the double crochet. I show you. So here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have ten groups here and then I gonna count the back panel until I have ten groups and place the marker there. Okay, so here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. See, I placed the stitch marker in the tenth group for the back and the front panel together. And we're gonna sew that ten groups. Alright, and you're gonna count the same in this side. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how I sew it. On this side because both sides you're gonna sew the same and you can use any method you prefer and let me zoom in okay I'm gonna sew this side first and I already have my yarn needle in here and we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier for sewing and also you can use any method you prefer okay this is how I'm gonna do it and I just want to show you so I gonna remove the stitch marker here and my tail is come from the front okay and I gonna insert my needle into the third chain of my back panel which is right here I gonna insert into the front loop only I call that front loop okay bring it out and then I gonna go into the same stitch one more time so I insert my needle into the first stitch of my front panel front loop only like this go to the back panel front loop only the same stitch that I just insert my needle into I just want to lock it one more time to make sure it's tight like that and then move into the next stitch I gonna insert into the next stitch of my front panel front loop only in the next stitch of my back panel, front loop only, like that, and bring it out. Okay, and go to the next stitch of my front panel here, front loop only. And go to the next stitch of the back panel, front loop only, like that, and bring it out. Make sure don't sew too tight or too loose. Okay. I insert into the next stitch of my front panel, front loop only. Next stitch of my back panel, front loop only. Always we're gonna go into the front loop. This is how I do it anyway. <laughs> okay, 
So next stitch on my front panel, front loop only. Next stitch on my back panel, front loop only. Like that. I just gonna keep repeating this, repeating the same thing. This is how I gonna sew mine. Okay. And this is the wrong side. And here is the right side so far. Okay. I gonna keep sewing this back and forth until I reach the end here, which is this stitch marker, and I will be back. Good luck, take your time. Okay, after I sew here, and now I reach the end, which is this stitch marker, and I already sew into the last stitch, and now I can now remove marker. And here's what it looks like. And next, I can now hide in my tail. So I insert my needle back here. Nothing fancy, just try to hide the tail. Okay, insert back here. And then I just gonna tie a knot right here. I'm gonna tie one more knot. And then keep hiding the tail. Insert back. Oops, like that. Okay. And make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done. And here is my wrong side that way we just saw. And here is my right side. Here's what it looks like. That's what I want, okay? If you don't like this method, use any method you prefer. Okay, so next you're gonna sew the other side exactly the same. Okay? Use the same method that you use for this side with this side. Okay? And use the long tail that you left earlier. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this side exactly the same and I will be back. Okay, after I sew the both shoulder here, and next you need to fold your dress in half at the shoulder seam here. Okay, so see, here is my back panel, and here is my front, and here is my front. I fold it in half with the right side facing each other and we're gonna sew the side seam on the wrong side okay and it's pretty big so let me show you here so here is my back panel which is this one okay I put it right here so you can see and here is my front panel right here so before we fold it in half it'll look like this way and then when we fold it in half it look like this Okay, so see, here's my front panels, here's my front panels, and I already sew this shoulder here, alright? And next, we're gonna sew the side seam from the bottom up till we reach the armpit, okay? And we're gonna leave the space open for the armhole as well. I will show you how I do it, okay? It's very long. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this way and see here I place my stitch marker right here. So I gonna sew from the uh, bottom here. Sorry it's big. <laughs> so see here this is my corner at the bottom here. We're gonna sew the back and the front panel together at the side seam. I gonna sew total of 53 rows 53 rows okay the back and the front panel together 53 rows so i count from this stitch marker here at the corner i gonna count the row so here is my row one right i count one row two three four five six seven like that until i have 53 rows and then i place my stitch marker at the end of row 53 for the front panel and the back panel together. See here? And I have 14 rows left 
in each panel that I'm gonna leave for my armhole okay 14 rows on the front 14 rows on the back like that which is about 8 inches across from the shoulder to this stitch marker about 8 inches let me show you see here see from the shoulder here to this marker is about 8 inches okay that's what I gonna leave for my armhole and now if you want bigger armhole you sew the side seam less maybe you place this stitch marker lower so you can have a bigger armhole and if you want a smaller armhole you sew the side seam more okay like you can move this stitch marker a little bit up all right so yeah for me i leave it open 14 rows and then i sew 53 rows and total of 67 rows all right enough talking and to do that you need to cut a new strand of yarn i already cut my new strand of yarn here and i'm gonna use the um, your needle for sewing and you can use any method you prefer and I'm gonna sew on the wrong side okay okay here is the corner so I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then I insert my needle into the corner of the front panel and then the corner of the back panel like that into the first stitch put the yarn out oops okay and move on to the next stitch on the front next stitch on the back like that put the yarn out and then next stitch of the front Next stitch of the back like that. I'm just gonna sew back and forth. So this is you cannot see the normal stitches. You kind of guess where you're gonna insert your needle into, because we uh, sew into the end of each row and the beginning of each row. Okay, but whatever you do, make sure it's. Uh, straight make sure the end of row one on the back panel and the end of row one on the front panel is lining up the end of row two there the end of row two here is lining up that's all the matter okay see my next stitch i gonna insert around here see i i can't see for sure where i gonna insert my needle into but i just guess <laughs> okay and then insert into the next stitch of the front sorry of the back panel like that and then move on to the next stitch on the front next stitch of the back like that bring the yarn out and then next stitch of the front next stitch of the back like that Make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose. Okay, next stitch the front, next stitch the back, right here. Next stitch the front, next stitch the back, like that. Next stitch the front, next stitch the back, like that. And then next stitch the front, next stitch the back. Oh, I forget to tell you, I cut uh, the yarn about 70 to 80 inches long, okay? Make sure that you will have enough to sew the side seam, all right? So I always love to have an extra. So yeah, 70 to 80 inches long for me. Sorry, I forget to tell you that. 
and next stitch of the front next stitch of the back like that see I just gonna sew back and forth like this okay let me show you here see here what this look like so see here the end of row one for my back panel the end of row one for my front panel is lining up the end of row two of my back panel the end of row two of my front panel is lining up like that the end of row three there the end of row three here is lining up that's all the matter okay so yeah keep sewing make sure it's straight and everything is even it's lining up and make sure don't sew too tight or too loose and use any method you prefer okay so i'm gonna keep sewing all the way up until i reach my stitch marker here which is row 53 the end of row 53 okay and i will be back okay now i reach the end here which is this stitch marker and then i just gonna remove the stitch marker and then i'm gonna whip the end see here is my armhole okay with the end and then I tie a knot hiding the tail nothing fancy just try to hide detail that's it and then trim the tail and I'm done see here this is my armhole and here the side seam that I just sew this is the wrong side okay and here is the right side okay so you're gonna sew the other side exactly the same whatever method you use for this side okay and after you have both sides sewn and you need to weave all the ends and you're done so now I have both sides sewn already and next I just need to weave the end and I'm done I'm pretty sure you know how to weave all the ends so yeah so I'm done <laughs> need to turn the right side out turn the right side out sorry it's very big so I cannot show you the whole thing but you can see in the picture and yeah congratulations you just create a very cute waist and I hope you enjoy making this project if you do please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and if you enjoy making this project please share with your friends it's helped me out a lot and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you next video bye bye